How excited do you think they're gonna be? I'm be very excited. You think they're gonna be excited? We brought the boys a special gift from our friends at ButcherBox. Huge thanks to ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna do a quick unboxing and grill up some food. Bonzel and Slayman are in the backyard. They have no idea what's coming. Time to surprise the boys. Ladies, I brought the I brought a surprise for you. I brought the goods. Open it up. Oh, oh snap. Yeah. Oh snap. Those wings? No way. Chicken wings. They're party wings, bro. Dang. We gotta have a wing cook off. We gotta have a wing I'm cook down. off. What, what else we got? What else we got? Some hamburgers. Burgers. Okay, we got burgers. More, more burgers. and more burgers. Ooh, more bacon. And more bacon. Hey, my fave. What kind of steaks are these? Grass fed strip, strip, strip loin, loin steak. Pork right. and what is flat, flat iron? iron. Yeah. And then one more. We got ribeye. Ribeye. Heck Ooh. yeah. Ribeye is my favorite. All right, folks. Well, like I said, today's video is sponsored by ButcherBox. So if you guys don't know what ButcherBox is, it is a monthly subscription. You guys can go click the link down below. And actually, if you use my code and click the link down below, you'll get $20 off your very first box and free burgers for the entire summer. Meaning if you stay subscribed until October 15th, you'll get up to 24 free burgers. Just, just for clicking the link and signing up and $20 off your very first box. But essentially, you go click the link down below. You go sign up. You can pick what you want. This is obviously burgers, bacon, pork, chicken wings steak but if you do maybe you don't like chicken you can pick kind of which meats you want every single month high quality grass fed animals sent to your home every single month you can kind of pick how often you want it how many meals you want everything else it, it's really easy like I said it's a lot easier for you guys just to go to it and click that click the link down below and go check it out than for me to sit there here and try to explain it all to you but again it's a really good deal you guys have seen me and butcher box partner up so many times I keep getting it over and over because I absolutely love the meat it's like I feel like I've got another family you know like I've got yeah. Finn and Macy to take care of feed us and too. then I got to feed these boys yeah. I got like a like a foster home here that yeah. takes that I take care of you guys so butcher box hooks it up helps feed the boys for the month get it every single month you guys go click the link down below and go sign up huge thanks again for butcher box for sponsoring today's video let's get to cooking boys Here we go, folks. We got all the wings done. Burgers are on the grill. We're gonna eat those in a bit. Kind of um, over underestimated how many wings there were. There was a lot more in that box than I thought. I was like, oh yeah, we got four dudes, hungry guys. There's no way we're finishing all these. And we have burgers on the grill, so we're gonna be stuffed. But anyways, we're gonna, we're gonna chow down and uh, you guys enjoy. Boys, I thought we had too much food. That was so good. You housed it. I mean, she gone, gone. Time to go film the rest of a video. Time to you go. Guys, you guys energized? A nap? No, 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 it's not that. Oh. No, it's not that. Woo, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the show, Flair. <gasps> Oh, I don't know why I say that that fast, but hey, guess what? We're doing dad things today. Not really. We're just at the store for dad things, which is the depot of home. It's hot and it's sunny, and we're building a minnow trap. You guys stay tuned. Look what the cat drug in, boys. We're making the largest, world's largest minnow trap today. How big is it gonna be? Huge. What are you doing, Slamin? How do you feel about this idea? Think it's a decent idea or not really? I mean, yes and no. What do you, you think it's gonna work or no? It might, I don't know. If he makes it, no. Oh, da Dang. sheesh, guy. Wow, shots fired early in the AM, boys. You think these will work? What if you did, what if you just made a hole right there, though? It work, but that's not the world's largest. We need bigger. What is the world's, world's largest? Do you know? No. Who's, but has anybody made a big one like this before? Probably. YouTube it? Probably should YouTube it first. Make sure we build the biggest one. So after doing some investigating, AKA asking the you know, Home Depot employees, they don't have any of the big 55 gallon drum barrels. That's what we wanted. So we're gonna have to go somewhere else, but I think we can get some of the supplies here. Okay, here's rolls of something. What is it rolls of? Yeah, for minnows, you're gonna want a little bit smaller than that. <coughs> Nothing get in past those little holes. Those aren't, I think that's too small because the water, I think the water would have a tough time getting through that. Is there anything bigger than that? That's a little bit better. Yeah, that's pretty good. Cause the water's gotta be able to get, you know, through it somewhat easy. Is there anything bigger than that? I mean, cause the minnow, we're not, try, we're not catching like teeny little minnows. I mean, I'm not saying that won't work. It just yeah. might be difficult to retrieve our thing. I feel like metal's our best bet, do you think? I feel like that stuff would tear because that's like fabric-y. Quality. 
fiberglass screen. But metal is metal. So like, what are you talking about metal? Where'd like you see metal, that? right here. And this is not metal. Oh. Aluminum. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. I think aluminum would probably be our it's best. Good. Yeah, that ain't. We just, I say we just pop holes in it just to help. We, I mean, here's the thing why don't we just test it, test it at a place at that we can retrieve get it, it, retrieve it, and then we'll go take it to the creek? Yeah, boom, we're geniuses. Okay, so we got the screen. You guys might be wondering how we're building this. You guys should stay tuned. We're gonna have to go to another place to get the barrel. Do you think they make a hose clamp that's gonna be a big hose clamp? I don't think they make hose clamps that big. I mean, worst case, just duct tape and staple guns fixes out all of life's problems. Well, right now, Bonzo, if we uh, if we get robbed or something, this is your fault. Bonzo took me to some sketch part of town. I mean, for no reason other than it just looks sketchy. I mean, I don't, I, I've never literally been here, so I can't judge it based off anything else other than it just kind of looks a little bit sketch. So we couldn't find a single Lowe's, Home Depot, or anything that had the big 55 gallon drums. And you found some bootleg website that sells them in bulk and that will sell one to us for cash only. It's kind of like the black market. I feel barrels. like this is not, like, they're gonna be like, yeah, come in the back and buy the barrel, and there's just gonna be like a chemical barrel where they're gonna like put us in after they kill us or something. Dude, we are, I've never been here in my life. What is, like, this is where all the factories are. Oh, there's blue, is these, are those blue barrels? Is that, are those they? are blue barrels. Yeah, is that the place? Dude, yeah, this has gotta be it. There's just like a, there's like a trillion yeah. blue barrels. I don't even know where he found this website. Dude, look how many barrels there are. What the <laughs> hell? Literally, Bonzo like, oh yeah, I found a place that sells barrels, dude. I mean, so is there a, is this the front? Please tell me this is the front entrance. Yeah, this is oh, dude, we are so gonna die right now. We'll there's, be fine. There's no way this is legit. How do you get there? There's a gate. There's, the gate was open. Dude, okay, we're not gonna take the vlog camera in. It'll be fine. No, 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 we got, no, no, no. All right, we'll be back. I'm not taking that camera in there. We'll, we'll see if this works. I cannot believe that just worked. Like, this does not seem like a place you would just go buy one. Yeah. Like, this seems like commercial. Like, also, this was $19. And when we looked at Home Depot, what were they, 87 or 88? Yeah. It was like $90 at Home Depot and they charged me less than 20. Yeah, bon dude. On a I'm never I'm never gonna question the, the bonds daddy anymore. We got we got the freaking barrel So this is gonna be the idea here. These are dude. These are this is like a, a sturdy son of a gun The idea is we're gonna open this up and that's where the, the males are gonna swim in and then on the back side We're gonna cut this whole thing off and then put mesh so that way the water can flow through it So we're gonna be in a like a running creek pray to god that the barrel doesn't either get ripped away or two We can pull it out. Let's go to the farm. Shoo! Huh, we made it. She done made it she didn't fall off. Ooh. So it's a warm one out here, boys. There's not a breeze. There's not a nothing. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be sweaty today. If you guys are curious what Bonzo looks like when it he's a hot, sweaty too mess. Mid. This is just too much. I don't know why I hang out with these kids. You ever you ever seen bull riding? You know what? Do you ever see the clowns jump in the barrels or the like the bull ride? Yeah. I feel like you should get in the barrel. I feel like I shouldn't. I feel like you should get in the barrel, and then we should either hit you with that or roll you down a hill. One of the two. You like how I just use them for content? Me too. You know what I said, John? I said John or Bonzo should jump in this like they do in the. You ever watch bull riding? They have to get away from the bull, say jump in a barrel. You ever seen that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like Bonzo should do that. You know, or or put them in there and then hit them with either the tank or roll them down the hill. I like that idea. Yeah, me too. You ever seen a bunch of idiots try to figure out how to open a barrel? Oh, oh here there we go. go. That's right. I just need a Hercules is all. Don't worry, boys. I got you. Bingo. That looks like a crawfish hole. There you go. Been hitting the gym, boys. You doubted me, son, didn't you? Boom! Okay, so we're gonna kind of make it easy, at least for this part. Hello? Yeah, it's empty. This will be kind of the entrance for the crawfish. They'll kind of meangle down in there. This side, this side we have to cut out and make screen because we're going to, if, if basically, if we were to throw this in a creek right now, it's flowing, the water would basically go inside, hit the back of this, and shoot it down to Narnia. And 55 gallons of water is, uh, Heavy. About 250 pounds. It's about about what that is. As big and strong as Bonzo looks, I don't know if he can handle that. So we're gonna try to make a screen out of this, and then we'll also poke a ton of holes. I mean, like we talk about hella holes. I'm talking about hella holes. But I think we should just. You think a circular saw or a jigsaw or oh, chain okay. chainsaw? I feel like that's getting dangerous at that point. Jig jig would probably be easier to keep filing. Yeah. Circular saw, I feel like, would get kind of dicey. All right, let's try let's try the jigsaw. Oh god, yeah. Let's do this, boys. Yeah. 
She's not perfect, but she didn't too, she didn't look, job. She doesn't look too bad. So we got some aluminum wire mesh, basically for your screen door. And I feel like if the holes aren't big enough, we'll test it before we chuck it in the creek. But if the holes aren't big enough, I feel like we can probably poke some bigger holes. But I don't know. I'm feeling good about it, boys. I really am. I think it's gonna be, it's gonna work well. All right, so, yep, just like that. I think this will be perfect. And then I brought some screws so we can screw, screw it through and see if that works. Sammy with the goods. I'll try, it's, it's not much. I'll try a big, thick one first. Let's see, probably go with this guy. I feel like that, that, I feel like that's that gonna way, work. That's gonna work. Okay, so let's do a couple and then we'll just kind of stretch it out. Yeah, I don't, I feel like that ain't going nowhere, boys. That's the strat right there. Well, folks, this is not ex what I expected to make whatsoever. I mean, this thing's got about 50 screws, paracord, and that's about it. We actually double layered the mesh because the mesh was actually pretty, in the aluminum, you could pretty much just rip it pretty easily. So what we did is we took screws and put screws all the way on the inside and then put screws all the way on the outside, both layers. And then we took screws and then paracord and wrapped it. I mean, it's like, you know, I play the guitar or something. It's tight, boys freaking tight and that's because when the water's flowing to the back this is going to be the support all the mesh is going to get pushed against this and this is going to hold it all together so the, the mesh doesn't rip it doesn't rip free from these screws right here because again like if i just went like this i could rip it i could rip it free for these screws because it's pretty lightweight so with that being said i think we got to go test it well we got to do actually one more thing we got to put a rope on it make sure we can retrieve it all right what are the odds can your little paws get through this bonzo <laughs> can you freaking i got it your raccoon paws reach <laughs> Hey now. All right, so this is gonna be the rope to retrieve it. So what kind of San Diego jam knot should I tie here? Just some... favorite fishing knot. Okay, so this is gonna be like, this would be like the, like this would be the split ring on a crankbait. So okay. I'd take both ends like this, and then you'd wrap. You have a name for this knot? Yeah, San Diego jam. Oh, really? Yeah. It's not gonna slip though, cause it's not. I'm gonna pull on this one. There you go. There, there you, you go. go. The old fisherman knot. Nah. Okay, we're good. All right, let's check it in the water. Bonzo had the idea of shooting it with a shotgun. Remember last time I shot something? That was hard plastic with a shotgun? Roll the clip. I just got hit. Did you get hit? I got hit. Right here. Dude, I got hit in the knee and I was like, what was that? So yeah, it didn't, didn't really go well. I got hit. I guess might as well try it again. Why not? Second time's the charm, right? All right. So we're letting Slayman shoot this so I can hide behind something in case we die. The idea is you gotta put like holes in it so it sinks easier, you know? And can drain easier. Go for it, Junior. Y'all ready? All right, ready, aim, fire. Oh, jeez, guy. Did you do anything? You hit it. I don't I know hope if it, I hit it. I don't yeah. know if it did anything. Some good. Some oh, stuff. no, they all stuck in it. Oh, dude, they're all stuck. <laughs> yeah. Look at these little BBs. Well, that didn't really do any good. Say we get a bigger gun. Try the L22. Yep. And, and then if that don't work, 22 mag. If that don't work, 50 cal. All right, boys, we're strapping up. We're ready for this. Is there a bullet in here? Nope. 22 time. We got about six shells in the STG. That's a lot more than six shells. Those are good holes. Yeah. 10 or so. I don't know. 15. Oh, gosh, yeah. They go through all the way yeah, or not? Yeah, barely. Oh, yeah, look at the backside, Andrew. Oh, yeah, see, so, you know, something that's a little bit more powerful might be yeah. better. They're leave, yeah. leaving the nipples hanging, you know? You don't, we don't need that, so I say it's time for the old Henry. She gone. Oh God. almost look like smaller holes, man. They're this one. Because yeah, I hit up here. Yeah. No, mine couldn't be smaller. Mine have to be the bigger ones. But I, mine were the ones that were up there, remember? So they made a smaller hole. Entry hole. See? Yours were all low. Oh, yeah. Dude, you, yours made a bigger hole than mine. How's that work? Mythbusters. How does a 22 mag make a smaller hole? I'm know. sure all the gun sure pro, they... pro gun commenters make. Well, it's because of these. All right, I say you just uh, dump the 55 round barrel in it.
empty. Dang. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yours definitely make bigger entry holes than mine. That's weird. I mean, regardless, we got, it looks like Swiss cheese now. We got lots of holes on all sides right here. Look at all these holes. These are good. Basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna help it sink faster because we're gonna have entry, water entry here, water entry there, and on the sides. That way the whole thing can sink. Basically it has to fill with water in order to sink. If there's any air pockets, then it won't sink. So that's what this is for. These are supposed to get rid of all the little air pockets. I say we uh, grab the tank and give it a dip. talking she'll sink that's pretty solid eh it's not bad i mean it still it still has a little bit of air no it's hitting the bottom it yeah. would it would sink it would sink see let's see how it works on the way out bro amazing the water just comes right out of it that was good yeah that was way better than i expected how's that look side look oh not bad at all nope dude oh, heck yeah that was really good that i we just find where it's deeper yeah, yeah, it'll slowly fill. We'll be fine. We'll figure it out. All right, we'll take it to the creek. Woo! All right, well, before we go set the old minor trap, the world's largest, we gotta go to the best place on earth and get some bread. We don't have any food to put in the minor traps. We're gonna get hella bread for these crawfish. Ooh, what is that? What flavor is that? Peach mango, it's the best one. Is it really? Yeah, it's my favorite. All right, I'm gonna try it. So we're staying healthy here on the channel. I'm gonna act like I didn't eat pizza this morning for breakfast. You think the crawfish are big Pringles, guys? It might be. What do, what do you think we should get some snack sticks? Me, I feel like meat won't dissolve as much. Like we should yeah. get bread and meat. Maybe get some jerky. I don't I mean I want to spend like freaking 15 bucks, boys. Just get one. We'll get it one long end and then we'll break it up. Orig There's original, deli style. That's a big one. That'll work. Ooh, hot dog buns. That'll work. That'll work. Yes, yeah, sir. That'll do. We're gonna see if that'll do. Then do the trick. Last time, that's pretty much the same thing we put in to the traps. Put I, I think I just threw some bread in last time. Not even meat, and we caught a bunch of crawfish. We're going full send on this one. Should we take a guess right now? How many crawfish do you think we're gonna catch? Fifty-two. Optimistic. Okay. Sixty-nine. Do not say that. Sixty-nine point nine. Is that is that like one missing a craw or a claw? So one one a clawless. So are you really going with that number? Okay, I'll go with like seven. So you think this thing's gonna be cheeks? Thirty thirty-one. 31. I probably won't remember that number tomorrow, but 31. Bonds is always just talking smack. You know what? We're <laughs> settling this once and for all. Just kidding. He, he didn't say that at all. You ever, oh, oh, Slayman's in on it, eh? Oh, I mean, I don't have no, to. No, 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 no. You're in on it. You're in on you're it. In in it. Here. I didn't know you were about this life. I thought you didn't like shotgunning. You, I know you never shotgun anything, right? Because yeah, no, you're not, a, you're, you can't I'm not drink. Age. I'm not a big age. Neither are you, are you? The biggest hole. No, I you, saw you, you got a big hole so he could freaking dribble it all out before you oh, start. Yeah. You go, Junior? You gotta, you gotta get the air, air pocket. Bubble. Make sure you're, make sure you're lined up. Oh, air bubble. bubble. Air bubble. Johnny, you gotta count down. Three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I was smiling. You didn't even finish yours. There was a little on the bottom. <laughs> You spilled, spilled like half, half, you spilled like half yours on me. I did not. I was smiling the whole time and so like, there was a gap <laughs> and it was are, just- Why are you smiling? It's just funny, man. It's just a good time. All right, now we're ready to go set some mental traps. Shoo! You boys ready for this moment? Oh yeah. World's biggest fish trap. We're good. You got the old Slim Jim, the old Slipperoo. Yeah, we got a couple more Slimmies. Crawfish candy, boys. Let's get a ton of bread in there. Shove the bread in them holes, boy. Yes, sir. It's the good stuff right here. All right. That wasn't messing around. I think eventually she will. She'll be done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, Sheila. You can do it. I believe in you. You got this. Balance it out, get that mesh sinking a little bit. Oh yeah, like the freaking Titanic, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I'll pull her right into the lagoon a little bit, outside the current. Dude, if this works, I feel like we should all be like going to Harvard or something next week, you know? Give a speech or something. Yeah, I feel like that's a good spot, honestly. I say let's just tie it up right there. It's a pretty good spot. That's good, because that's like basically where the current would be going and all the fish would be kind of swinging around there, so. All right, I'll see if this works. All right, boys, we'll be back in the morning. Woo! All right, folks, it is the next day, and we are here to check on the world's largest minnow trap, all right? Don't know if it's actually the world's largest. I'm just going to claim it is. Here with old Slayman. The other boys ditched us, eh? Classic. They have to tend to their women, I guess, you know? High maintenance or something. I don't think their women are high maintenance. I think 
they are high maintenance. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Either way, Flame and I, we're headed down to the creek right now. We're going to see if our world's largest minnow trap that we built caught any minnows or crawfish or really anything would be fine. I don't really care what it caught as long as it caught something. Um, but we wanted to make the biggest one possible to hold the most amount of fish because this creek here is loaded with fish. Lots of shad, crawfish, gar, little bluegills and stuff, catfish, bullheads. We've already kind of caught fish out of here before. So we're going to see, let's see what happens here. Oh, she's still here. Look at her. I mean, I bet something could, oh gosh, dude, there's so many gar over there still. All right. I'm nervous. Oh God. Does she feel heavy? Like she's full of something? She's probably just she's... water, but. Uh... Oh wow, I don't know what that noise was, but I just hope it drains with water with all the holes that we put in I hope our system works. Oh, pfft. well that was easy. You got that up easy. You see anything in there though? Oh God. What's in there? What's in there? What's in there? Oh dude. No there's way. Crawfish in there. No way. No way. So that's it? There's no, no minnows or nothing? I don't see anything flopping. I was hoping we'd catch a gar or something. Crawfish or two. There's, was there two? That's it? Just two crawfish? I guess. The hype, the anticipation. I don't know, here, to try to dump, see if we can dump them out. Maybe there's more in two. I didn't really think about that either. Like, we're gonna have to either unscrew, we're gonna have to unscrew all that to get them out. Yeah. Yeah, there's still, there's only two in there, though. Dude, that's like impossible to get them out. How is there only two, though? Hey. I can hear them rolling around in there. <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna get them, though. Well, we can take this back to the farm and unscrew this. Unscrew this, yeah. Let's just do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just take this back to the farm real quick, unscrew it, and that way we can get them out. I mean, there's only two. I mean, it's better than nothing, but our normal, the normal traditional traps did better than this. The only thing I could think of was we didn't put like a cage or anything here, like something for the crawfish to climb up. Like they pretty much had to just like they, yeet their yeah. way in there, you know, which I feel like it might be kind of tough, but there's no food in there. So they either dissolved or flew out. I guess we didn't build, we built the world's biggest, not the world's greatest. Okay. Emphasis on that. So I said, let's just take it to the farm and take it, take the back end apart and uh, get these crawfish out. You watch out. What's up, bud? Oh, Kai dogs in Kai dog things. Not really sure what's going on there, but so we made it down to the farm. Now we got to get this guy. Try to get these crawfish out of there. Oh yeah, they're still alive. Oh, I still see the beef sticks in there. Now you can see it. Let's see. Is there a crawfish? There's a crawfish. See him? See him? I don't know. I feel like if we just shake it enough, we might be able to get it. It's dried out. On the drive, it dried out before it was mud in here. Now it's kind of more of dirt, so it should be easier to get out. We gotta be. Able I don't want to have to take that thing apart because I want to reuse it. Oh, there. Oh, that one's close. Oh, oh did you get one? Oh, no, he's hey, close. Get out, get oh, you got him. Hey, what's up, Junior? Hey. Oh, he's dried out. We probably should get him in some water, huh? Hang on, little buddy. Dude, he's pincherless. All right. He's in the bucket. Did you get him or no? Yeah, you got him. You got him. You got him. There you go. This guy's got pinchers. Look at him. Oh, God. <laughs> Throw him down in yonder. All right, boys. We're taking you up to the Brute Bakery. Got to go for a quick ride. Shoo. And we are out, folks. Hey, left to the Brute Bakery. All that work. Traveling to the sketchy spot, getting the barrel, setting it up, throwing it out there for an entire day, coming back, all for two crawfish. One that don't even have pinchers. What the hell, Richard? We're out of the brew bakery though. We are slowly stocking this thing full of crawfish. I want to get these fish dialed on the crawfish pattern. I want them to be, I want to be able to grab that lipless crankbait, the brand new one from the Guggen Squad called the Clutch, and I want to throw it out there and catch some fish. So you gotta throw the crawfish out there. So that's pretty much the most relatable thing to, uh, to a lipless crankbait is crawfish. Are they alive still? Oh, yeah, oh God, they're still fish. good. All right. Bo made it down to the brew bakery. <laughs> hey, we're stocking it. Two crawfish at a time, folks. All right, we're making big moves here. Big freaking moves. Should we, should we name them? Uh, sure. That's Leroy. Give Leroy a quick yeet. Oh, dude. I love how they swim. It's just like, whoom, whoom, whoom. He's pincherless. He's pincherless. So what does that mean? Uh, pincherless boy. No, no arm wonder. That's, well, that's well, um, yo. You think he can swim? I can't swim. No, no, no. Give him a quick eat. He'll be fine. Oh yeah, there you go. He's swimming. There you have it, folks. There's, I mean, there is a, a, a decent, fairly decent possibility that might be the biggest letdown in YouTube history right there. I had so much hope and so much anticipation for that. It just didn't happen, you know? I just, I feel like we put our heart and soul into that and then we caught two little crawfish. I mean, we've caught way, with actual crawfish traps, we've caught way better ones. So I feel like kind of a failure, not gonna lie, boys. I, a lot of videos I've been asking, hey, what should we film next? Do you guys enjoy the series? What I would like to know is what modifications could we do to the world's largest trap? Because I'm not ready to give up yet. I, I'm confident in our engineering skills. I just feel like we might've 
miss something. Like maybe we need to like re-drill the holes, like the entrance. Maybe the entrance needs to be lower or higher or have like a ladder for the crawfish to climb up or something. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comment section down below. What should we do to it to improve it? Because we might have to get revenge. We might have to go for round two on the old bad boys. Because I'm confident that we could actually get a lot more than two. Again, if you guys enjoyed today's video, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, like this video and subscribe and hit the little bell if you haven't. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell even if you already are subscribed. Turn on noties. Go subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace!